How's it going guys? We are back on the global side of Dokkan Battle and with the Golden Week celebration we've got a brand new Super Battle Road stage. This time it is Connected Hope. So let's get into the team and hopefully we get the dub. Let's go. Alright then guys, so here's the team that we're going to be jumping in with. If I be honest, Connected Hope is a little bit of a mismatch sort of uh, category. So we are jumping in with basically a Battle of Witch slash superhero team. I think it should do relatively well at the very least. The only one I'm kind of worried about is Mai at the end there, but we have got her in because hopefully we can get those stuns off. We'll go with the two Piccolos for one rotation and possibly a Gohan and the Go Goku and Piccolo as another rotation. But we'll see how it goes anyway. We are jumping in with support items just in case we need to use them, but no support memory because we will aim for that no item run. Let me know down below what teams you're using and what character you found the best for this particular Super Battle Road. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into it. It's been a couple of weeks, I think, since we've had uh, some Super Battle Road stages. So I'm excited to be back. Granted, there's been quite a lot of Dragon Ball Legends on the channel. But that's just because that's where all the content's been, to be honest. But and that, that and I've been a little bit unlucky when it comes to... Um, actually, let's... Yeah, let's do that. Being a little bit unlucky when it comes to my summons. So I haven't been able to do, like... The showcases and things like that, unfortunately. Is it worth going for you? Just because I'm a bit worried about my at the back there. Now, let's go with you and take you out. Hopefully, we can get an additional there. Or at the very least, my stun can hopefully come into play here. So, let's do that and let's see how we go. We've got 619k health. Which is a decent amount, to be fair, especially considering this is only SBR, not ESBR. Obviously, ESBR, uh, a lot more defense there and a lot more offense, so we should still be okay. But like I said, I am a little bit on the worried side for my, hopefully, RNGs on our side and we get those stuns in at the very least. And additionals off the Piccolos, possibly. Right, so he's gone. No additional there. But we are getting supered. And taking absolutely nothing. Right, can you get a stun off? Yes, you can. Good. RNG is on our side for this first match here. Um, let's have a little look. They link up a lot better, you know. Should we keep them on the same rotation? We do want to get him a... Keel. Uh, let's do... Right, I, I'm, I'm not worried about a super with you, to be honest. Let's attack you like that. Should have really gone for Android 15. I think it's 15 anyway. And let's do that. And then Piccolo, you can just attack whoever. So we'll have a Piccolo float in, I guess. At the moment, we've got the Pycon and the Gohan on the same rotation. Because they're linking a bit better with the key and things. And we can get the Pycon support, I guess. And the dodge in. Very nice, very nice. Come on, Gohan. Show us what you're made of. A lot of people, when he first came out, were a little bit disappointed with him. But I am imagining we'll get a standalone Beast Gohan at some point, hopefully. And an Orange Piccolo as well. And they should be absolutely ridiculous then. Gohan is finishing it off all by himself. Go on, my son. All right, we'll take that. That's the first match down, and we have not taken any damage. Not really, anyway. <laughs> And we've got both our Piccolos on the first rotation here, so we should be looking okay. The Goku and Piccolo are very good for this um, SBR stage, to be fair, because they got Guard active for the first five turns. You've got your health, I think it's over... What is it? Over a certain amount, isn't it? Um, HP 50% or more, they get an extra 200% defense as well. Look at the defensive stats of all of these guys, looking pretty good. Right, I am going to attack... No. Uh, oh, I don't know, actually. Right, okay. Well, he's there mainly for defense anyway. So we'll do that so we can get the Ultra Super. And then we will attack you with them. No Ultra Super with them, unfortunately. But like I said, they're just more there for the defensive qualities, if I'll be honest. Could possibly get an additional off this uh, Piccolo as well. Nope, no additional, but we are taking a super. Should be absolutely fine, because this Piccolo is absolutely broken when it comes to defense. 80k! It's actually a lot more than I was expecting. If we got a super off with him, it should have been double digits, but oh well. Right, let's see what this ultimate Piccolo uh, does now. Let's see how well he does, because he is on 
him and the Gohan are on the current banners. And I've had a lot of questions, or seen a lot of questions, of who should I pick up with my red coins. Personally, for me, I would definitely say that Piccolo, because not only is Orange Piccolo absolutely ridiculous when you get that transformation off, but Gohan just takes a lot longer to uh, basically build up. It, it's not the greatest, if I be honest. Right. Um... I don't think this guard active here with Gohan. So we're going to do this. And then we'll do that with Pycon. So we've got the Ultra Super off with Gohan so he can start building up the things. Hopefully we can take out 18, which is the main thing that I'm hoping for. And then we'll do that. Let's see. Hopefully Gohan can get some crits off. That Oh my god, that was a lot of damage there. Come on, Gohan, get some crits. We've got one dupe in you, I think. Those attack and defense. No additional super either. Oh my god. This is uh, not looking great already. Okay, good. 18's gone. Now my just needs to. Okay, double dodges. Decent. Get your stun off. RNG, come on. Help us out here. Nice. All right, should be pretty clean sailing now. So let's focus on uh, which one's better. The friend one is Rainbow, so we'll definitely go with you. So let's go with that. Yeah, sure, why not? And then we'll go with that, why not? And then we'll get some heal backs here with the Piccolo. Back up to almost 600k health. A little bit of a worry there, but oh well, it is what it is. Like I said, RNG's got to come into play somewhat. Because when I was looking through the Connected Hope team, I didn't really want to run the Connected Hope team, to be honest. I didn't think it was going to do the greatest, and that's why we've got a bit of a mixed match team here. Let's jump into the last fight against Goku Black and Zamasu. Okay. Let's see. So... No type advantages, unfortunately. I'm going to do this. Am I going to do... That? I do have guard with that Gohan, but he kind of needs to... Should we just hope for the dodges? RNG's been kind of on our side so far. But we're not going to get a super off with Gohan if we do that. Um, is it worth rotating Gohan off for this particular one? I think it is. So we can do this. And then we can do that. Hope for his dodges, I guess. And we can do that and get an Ultra Super off with the Gohan. Let's see, I'm hoping that Piccolo goes crazy in the next one. Like I said, they've got a uh, guaranteed guard for the first five turns, extra 200% uh, defense, so they should be absolutely fine in that first slot. And we've got the additional um, support there from Pycon. Additional super, I'll take it. I will take it. Okay. Right, Pycon. Get your dodges in, especially against Goku Black. Fine, you can take one against Zamasu. Oh, that's not great. That's not great. But thankfully, if this was the SBR, he would have been absolutely ruined there. But thankfully, he's done all right. And he also sealed Goku Black, I believe, as well. No, he did not. Oh, oh, okay. Gohan getting the um, counter off, or counter, or nullification, whatever you want to call it. Very rare to see that, I'll be honest. Right. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we'll leave it as this. Or should we do that? I think we will do this. So then we get extra key for the Piccolo as well. And then my, once again, got to rely on that RNG a little bit. Piccolo, go crazy here for us. Come on. 
Right, Zamasu's down. Additional, but only a normal. But we'll take that, I guess. Right, there you go. So we've got a super off with this Piffler. I think this is like only the second time he's got a super off. And we have sealed as well, so I'll definitely take that. Mai, do you want to finish off with a bit of a... Uh, um, stun? No, she does not. 66k though, we can take that. We can take that, that's fine. We're going to do... Um, let's do... I definitely want to keep Pycon off rotation. But then, if we do that, we don't really need... Yeah, let's do this. So we can do that. Can we still get that? Yes, we can get that rainbow to get his support off. And this might be actually it, you know. Okay, Piccolo getting built up quite a bit. Which is one of the reasons that the two of them, the Gohan and the Piccolo, he can get built up so much more quicker. If you want to pick him up with your red coins, I would definitely suggest him over the Gohan personally. Uh, right. Go Goku and Piccolo, are you going to shine through here? Yes, you are. Okay. All right, that was a pretty smooth run. No items used, and I think that was pretty quick as well. So, like I said, let me know what teams you used to beat this down below. And what was your main character, or your MVP character to beat it? Let me know down below. And also, did you beat my time? Yes or no? I'll definitely take that. Let's pick up our missions. Decent, decent. So I've still got the ESP uh, to run to go as well. So make sure to hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you later. Ciao.